histology of the digestive system, small and large intestine. As the first, let me remind you general plan of structure of all of, uh, of the digestive tube as the tubular organ. Uh, here you can see transection of the digestive tube, uh, which has inside space, <coughs> tubular shape, and three layers of the wall. It's a mucosa um, together with submucosa, uh, muscularis, and serosa. Talking about digestive tube, you must remember that in each organ of the digestive tube, uh, we have a different structure uh, of each layer. Uh, for example, what differences of the mucosa in all of organs of the digestive tube? I mean, oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Uh, mucosa. Let's start from the epithelium. In the moral cavity, dining epithelium is a stratified squamous non keratinite In the pharynx, uh, lining epithelium, here you can see it's a stratified squamous non keratinite But really, if you remember, pharynx can be divided into three parts. Nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx. The nasopharynx is covered I mean, mucosa of the nasopharynx is covered by respiratory epithelium. And the oropharynx is laryngopharynx is covered by uh, stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Uh, what about esophagus? Esophagus, um, mucosa of the esophagus is covered by uh, non keratinized stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium, but only in the upper and middle. So, in the lower sort, we have change of the stratified squamous, the uh, non keratinous epithelium, the simple columnar epithelium. <coughs> um, in the stomach, in the stomach, epithelium in the stomach, simple columnar. In the small and large intestine, the same type, simple columnar epithelium, but it, it uh, doesn't mean that. Uh, this epithelium completely common, completely similar, because uh, we have we have different type cells which compose a simple columnar epithelium in the stomach, small and large intestine. So we have different type of cells and different number of mm, same type of cells in the small and large intestine. <clears throat> and anus, anus is covered by Stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Pay the attention that in the oral cavity and anus are present the same type. Stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. It's uh, happening because of same embryonic source of origin of the epithel uh, epithelium of the oral cavity and anus. The origin from the um, uh, ectoderm. And the middle part of the digestive tube uh, has epithelium, which origins from the endoderm. Um, <clears throat> except type of epithelium, we can tell about differences, um, differences structure, which are element of relief. I mean, faults, creeps, uh, creeps uh, around place, uh, uh, places where epithelium. Uh, it dips into the lamina propria, it's like imagination. Uh, it's like small foveas in the epithelium. So, false creeps really can be present in mucosa uh, in, different, in different organs of the uh, digestive tube. Except really, except really. Uh, epithelium really and the except for faults and creeps, mucosa can contain glands. Uh, there are unicellular, unicellular glands, which are unicellular secretory cells which are uh, present within different other type of cells which compose epithelium. epithelium. 
And the other type of cells is the multicellular. In some part of the digestive tube, present can pull tubular uh, alveolar glands, in which are secretory portions situated in the submucosa. Uh, this uh, slide is of different elements of relief in different organs of the digestive tube. Uh, for example, in the endophagus, present pleated, which are longitudinal. In the stomach, there are pleated or rugae and gastric pits, and the mammillary area, and the small intestine, it's a pleated secularis, villi, crypts, microvilli, and the large intestine, it's a pleated secular directed pleated. Uh, and the intestinal glands. What about next layer differences of the next layer? Submucosa. Submucosa in different places of the digestive tube can contain special uh, specialized structures, such as uh, glands uh, and the aggregation of um, lymphoid tissue. For example, in the esophagus, and the submucosa of the esophagus, we can find submucosal mucus glands. Uh, in the duodenum, burners glands, in the ileum, pear patches with uh, aggregation of uh, lymphoid tissue. And uh, there are like special properties of the submucosa in different, in different organs of the digestive tube. And there are like um, differences, differences, uh, histological differences between different organs of the digestive tube. Muscularis, muscularis, uh, or muscularis external, is a fourth layer of the wall of the digestive tube, esophagus. Uh, muscularis of the esophagus composed by secular and longitudinal layers. But if we are talking about uh, smooth muscle layers. Uh, if you remember, <coughs> exophagus anatomically can be divided into three parts. It's a first sort, se um, second sort, and third sort. So, secular and longitudinal smooth muscle layers present only in the uh, lower sort or third sort. Stomach has three layers of the muscularis. Uh, uh, which are oblique, secular, and longitudinal, and small and large intestine have secular and longitudinal, but they have differences because longitudinal layer of uh, smooth muscles cells in the small intestine is complete, and in the large intestine is incomplete. It's separated to three bundles, which are named tenia coli. About what about outer layer? As it can be serosa or adventitia. Uh, talking about esophagus in the upper and middle sort, it's adventitia. In the lower sort, it's a serosa, especially in this part, the lower, lowest part which uh, is located in the inside in the abdominal cavity. Uh, stomach, uh, it's the serosa. Small and large in this time, zero, the outer layer it is a zero. But um, talking about small and large in this time, you must remember about present of uh, 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 classification of organs depend on the relation to the um, peritoneum. They can be intraperitoneal, mesoperitoneal, extraperitoneal. And the uh, small and large in this time can be, uh, must be divided to parts, and each part, each part. Um, has a special relation, uh, it's its own special relation to the um, peritoneal. It can be or intraperitoneal or mesoperitoneal, so one of uh, surface of the, for example, colon ascending, one surface can have a outer layer which is not serosa, which is uh, adventitia. What about anus? Anus has outer layer, which is adventitia. So let's go to the small intestine. 
small intestine is the longest component of the digestive tract, is divided into three portions, duodenum, jejunum, and irum. Uh, the function of the small intestine, it's a um, terminal food digestion, nutrient absorption, mechanical, mechanical influence on the food, endocrine secretion, immune defense. <coughs> The wall of the small intestine consists of four layers. Four layers, uh, which are mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, serosa, or adventitions. So the classical uh, tubular organ, it has a space, it has tubular shape, it has um, four layers of the wall. Uh, what about relief of mucosa? Uh, if a wall of the small intestine has submucosa, so must be relief of um, relief composed by such type of structures of walls, plitze circularis, and intestinal relay, finger-like projection of the, uh, of the lamina propria into epithelium, and intestinal gland scripts of hypercule, which are invagination of the epithelium into the lamina propria. Mucosa consists of the simple columnal epithelium, lamina propria, and muscularis and mucosa. <coughs> uh, lamina propria composed by composed by uh, loose connective tissue and uh, uh, loose connective tissue. And uh, it's the main function of the uh, lamina propria, it's a trophic function. It's very important for uh, the epithelium, which is a, a vascular tissue, if you remember, and need nutrition for working, for living. And the uh, muscularis mucosa con consists of smooth muscle cells, and uh, it has two layers. Let's come back to the epithelium, because it has a, a compound structure. It has a, um, it's composed by more than five, than five type of cells. There are enterocytes, goblet cells, pennant cells, enteroendocrine cells, M cells, and stem cells, undifferentiated stem cells. Enterocytes, there are tall columnal cells. They are main cells of the small intestine because they make function of the small intestine. The main function is the um, nutrient absorption. So main function of enterocytes is absorption of different uh, substances from the epical surface, and they, are, they have a special structures which are located on the apical surface. They are micro, really. They are very deeply packed, and they make like um, brush body. Next type of cells: goblet cells. Um, cells found in uh, between every between the between uh, previous type of cells. Uh, let me explain you <laughs> goblet cells. Goblet cells uh, looks like gaps in the body of the um, epithelium, and they are, they are located between single goblet cells between um, enterocytes and in the um, superior. Uh, apical part, you can see granules, secretory granules. They produce mucus secrete in release through the apical surface uh, for lubrication, for protection of the surface of the epithelium. In the lower part, all the cells in the basic part are located organelles and the nucleus. They are pushed by uh, accumulation of group of granules push all of organelles and nucleus to the basic part of the cell. Penet cell. Penet cells are In itself, I try to find in itself. Mm. 
Okay. Pyramidal cells are present only at the basis of the intestinal glands. These exocrine cells contain large acidophilic granules in the apical cytoplasm. Um, basal cytoplasm is the basophilic, and these granules contain antibacterial enzyme lazozyme. Lazozyme is a protein, but um, it's produced by, uh, provides the basic part of the cell, it's a uh, blue color. Uh, while the basic part of the cell is the um, basic staining, because lysosome is produced by greatly developed rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is a basic staining structure in the cell. But accumulation, accumulation of uh, lysosomic granules in the apical uh, part of the cells, they are acid staining structure. So the uh, Penit cells are polychromatophilic. Apical part is the acid staining, basic part is the uh, basic staining. Enteroendocrine cells. Enteroendocrine cells. Enteroendocrine cells, uh, let me explain. Enteroendocrine cells uh, look like these cells. They are um, found in the lower part of the fluids. And uh, the most abundant products are cholecystokinin, uh, which stimulate pancreatic enzyme secretion and gallbladder uh, contraction. Secretin, which stimulate pancreatic and biliary bicarbonate secretion, and gastric inhibit peptide, which inhibit gastric acid secretion. Enteroendocrine cells are, um, uh, there are, there are apoptosis system cells, and they have opposite location of nucleus and granules to um, to goblet cells. Uh, the nucleus and organelles take place in the apical part of the cells and granules accumulated in the basic part of the cells close to the basement membrane and close to the underlying loose connective tissue which compose lamina propria. It's easier, it's, uh, easier to release secrete to the blood uh, through the basic uh, part of the cell. The next type of cells um, are stem cells or undifferentiated cells. As they are situated in, um, in deeply inside in the intestinal polyps, similar to absorptive cells. So it looks like uh, um, enterocyte, but without microvilli on the apical surface. Uh, the less development they en than enterocyte, they have a large uh, nucleus, light nucleus, and they, um, they can differentiate if it's necessary in all of type of cells except uh, enteroendocrine cells because of different embryonic source of development. Uh, what about Uh, what about its a view of the duodenal mucosa? Here you can see so many enterocytes, composed epithelium of the small intestine, and the small amount of goblet cells that are located between. It looks like gaps in the row of the enterocyte. There are uh, colorless cells, here are goblet cells. Submucosa. A uh, submucosa consists of the loose connective tissue, uh, con which uh, contains aggregates of lymphoid tissue, known as a pear patch. 
in sam mukozal do den obzira do den glancov pronos uh, the uh, compound jubula mucous glands uh, here i i want to explain you pair patches which are variation of follicles lymphoid follicles in the submucosa of the um, ileum. Uh, they make immune function of the small intestine. In large accumulation of lymphoid follicles present in the appendix vermiformis, uh, which is known as the uh, intestinal tonsil. Next layer, the muscularis. Muscularis is consists of two layers of smooth muscle, Cell, smooth muscle tissue. It's a longitudinal and the circular layer, circular layer and longitudinal. Both are complete. And the outer layer of the small intestine is a cellula or adventitia. In the, um, in the ileum and the in the ileum and jejunum is only serosa. In the, some part of the um, duodenum can be adventitia, which are visual peritoneal parts. Let's go to the large intestine. Large intestine consists of the colon, cecum, appendix, rectum, and anal canal. The function of the large intestine absorption of water and electrolytes, elimination of undigested food and waste, waste. and the um, absorption of vitamin K and B, and endocrine secretion and immune defense, and mechanical function in the passage of undigestible substances. The wall of large intestine consists of four layers, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, serosa, or adventitia. Uh, let's start from the relief of mucosa of the large intestine. Uh, it's composed by semi, uh, semilunaris folds. If you compare folds of this large intestine and small intestine, in the small intestine, they very short and deeply packed. A lot of a lot of uh, faults in the small intestine. We have a less ma to le less amount of faults, and they very tall. And the intestinal next element of relief: intestinal glands or crypts. A lot of intestinal glands present in the mucosa of the large intestine, unlike to the small intestine. Mucosa consists of mixed lamina. It's an epithelium, which is uh, a simple columnal epithelium. Next one, lamina propria, composed by loose connective tissue, rich in lymphoid follicles and the uh, lymphoid, uh, lymphoid blood vessels and the blood capillaries and uh, nervous network. And the next layer is the muscularis mucosa. Lamina, next lamina of the mucosa in the muscularis mucosa consists of smooth muscle tissue. Uh, which has two layers, circular and the uh, longitudinal. Uh, what about um, kind of cells uh, which compose epithelium? Epithelium is composed by next type of cells, absorptive cells, goblet cells, stem cells, enteroendocrine cells. So and like to have a small intestine, they here absent penis cells. But a next difference is the number of each type of cells. In the small intestine, most numerous cells, there are uh, absorptive cells. In the large intestine, unlike to the small intestine, the numerous cells, there are goblet cells. Absorptive cells uh, are tall, columnal, and have short irregular microvilli. In the large intestine, uh, absent villi. Uh, here, uh, here you can see differences between apical surface of the uh, of cells of the uh, 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 between surface of epithelium you know, of the small and large intestine. Absorptive cells actively transport elect electrolyte, and the water also is absorbed. And the next type of cells, goblet cells, there are more. Um, 
more prevalent cells in the uh, large intestine, the most common cells in the epithelium of the large intestine. It looks like in the small intestine, they have the same structure and same function. Uh, so here you can see epithelium of the large intestine and so many goblet cells present in the large in the epithelium of large intestine and the uh, small amount of enterocyte within goblet cells. And uh, stem cells undifferentiated cells also present here, also deeply inside in Liberkion glands. If you see here the invagination of the epithelium into the lamina propria, very deep, deep structures, spaces, which are named the crypts or Liberkion glands. And the stem cells take place uh, deeply inside and they uh, give rise to different type of cells of the epithelium. We can do regeneration all of type of cells except enteroendocrine cells. And if enteroendocrine cells are uh, present, also present in the epithelium of the large intestine, but less uh, amount than in the small intestine. Submucosa consists of loose connective tissue reaching the lymphoid follicles, nodules, but they don't co-create aggregation such as say, pear patches. Muscularis. Muscularis consists of the inner circular and outer longitudinal layer of smooth muscle tissue. Uh, inner circular layer is a typical, but outer longitudinal layer composed the aggregation of three, uh, three uh, bands, uh, which are named uh, called the tenia coli. They have three tenia coli in the large intestine. Cirrhosa consists of uh, the um, uh, adventitia or uh, composed by adventitia or cirrhosa. Here you can see electron electronogram, which explains surface of the small intestine and large intestine. And you can uh, see that in the large intestine, absent villi, uh, 